Bruh. Hello everybody, this is Lego Max 1010 and today I'm here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom sounds for your Minecraft. Basically this will allow you to change any sound in the game into another sound based on just one resource pack. If you do find this video enjoyable or helpful at all, please hit the like button, it will really help me out and help more people see this tutorial and help more people figure out how to do this for themselves. And if you really like it, please hit the subscribe button and you will be able to see all the videos that I put out in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to your .minecraft folder. And to do this, the easiest way that I've found is to just open Minecraft. Uh, Alright, so now that I have that figured out, I'm just going to launch Minecraft on 1.8, but modded, like, easy Optifines. Um, just because, just to show you, because this will work on any version. Um, but I'm just going to use this version just because it's easily accessible for me. Okay, so now I have Minecraft launched, I'm going to navigate to the options, click resource packs, and then open resource packs folder. Once you have that done, you should just see something that looks a little bit like this. This is your resource pack folder that you just opened up. I only have one resource pack, which is my custom resource pack, that I'm going to be editing with this edition. So what you're going to want to do is open this up. Um, I believe you will need a zip reader, something like that, so 7-zip um, is a good one to download. I would recommend that one. It's free. Um, so just open it up and then go navigate to your sounds folder and you can do that by clicking assets, minecraft, and then sounds is right there. And you will have to create this folder if you're making a, a resource pack from scratch. Although I would recommend that, that you go and download the default resource pack which I've linked in the description. And this will have all of the default textures as well as default sounds. Uh, texts as you can see models it'll basically just be the default resource pack so I'd recommend doing that and then you won't have to create any folders and it will just be all there for you and you'll just have to change the files so I'm gonna open up sounds and then as I've said if you don't have these folders you'll have to create them yourself I'll label them exactly as you see them here um, for this tutorial I'm just going to be showing you uh, one specific sound it doesn't it can you can change any sound basically in the game So it doesn't really matter what I show you as long as you understand the gen the general concept of this So I'm going to just do some random sound like um, I don't know pig death sound There it is and then it's for some reason it opens up group music, which is dumb and I don't like it so the first thing you're going to want to do is find a sound you're going to replace it with. And actually I need to do this, so uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, so I've just brought this sound effect to my desktop. This is a sound effect I've used uh, for editing videos. It's just the brass sound effect. Bruh. Just like that. So I'm just going to be replacing the pig death sound with this sound effect. So what I'm going to want to do first thing is convert it to an OGG file and this is the type of file that Minecraft reads for its audio files so you, you can see all of these are in the OGG file format type and as you can see all every single sound effect is like that so if I'm going to want to convert it and one easy way to do that is with the VLC media player uh, it, it's free to download it just as like a video player but for some reason it can convert files as well so uh, I'm just going to open this up in that. Alright, so I now have the software open, and what I'm going to want to do is go to where it says Media, and click Convert and Save, and then find my uh, file, and here it is, it's right there. I'm just going to remove it and then add it back just to show you, so I'm just going to remove it, click Add, and then find it on my desktop, and there it is, it's MP3 file, and then just click Open, and so it's there again, and now I'm just going to click Convert and Save one more time. And it will bring me to this screen, where I now have to select the file output that I want. And so there's all of these different files uh, that it's able to do, but we want the OGG file like that. And then now we have to choose where we want to save it. So I'm just going to save it uh, to my desktop, but I'm going to call it bruh underscore OGG. And do make sure you change the name of it, otherwise you might get an error or something. It might have trouble reading what you're, it's trying to do. And it's just save it as an OGG file. And so now I'm just going to click save. And 
and then click start and it should just convert it. All right, now we check and see if it's on my desktop and we have a bra underscore OGG. Open it up. Bra. Sounds good. All right, so if you are wondering, this uh, software will be available for download in the description. It's, uh, I believe it's free uh, and it's just kind of like, I don't know, just a media player. Yeah, as it says in the name. Okay, I'm kind of dumb. Let's just move on real quick. Okay, so now you're going to want to basically replace this file or replace this file, the pig sound, with your new sound effect. Bruh. Normally, you probably wouldn't use the bruh sound effect whenever a pig dies. That would get very annoying and basically everyone would hate you. Um, but you probably should use a more reasonable sound effect than that, unless you want to be weird and just have bruh pigs sound death. So what you're going to want to do is just rename this file to the same exact thing that this is named. So now, they're the exact same thing. This is an OGG file, this is an OGG file, they're both named death, basically the same file. And so you can, if you want, back this up, but you don't need to, I mean, you can if you want, if you decide you really hate this sound effect that you've put on, it will be useful and uh, you won't have to go finding the file and trying to re-put it in. So I would recommend backing it up, but for the purposes of this, I'm actually not going to do that, but you know how to back things up. It's just copy and pasting into a separate folder. In fact, you know what? Copy Minecraft Research Packs folder, paste. There, it's that easy. All right, now it's in there and saved. So now I'm just going to drag it in. It's going to say copy and replace, and then I'm going to just click that because that's what I want to do. So now this file that's in here Bruh. is now the breath sound. So that means when we go into game and I kill a pig, it should say bruh. So let's try this out. All right, so I'm back in the game. Uh, I'm gonna click done. I'm just gonna go into a single player world. All right, I'm up here. Let's grab a pig. Oh, that's, where am I doing? Okay, I'm in my skyblock mode right now. So there's the dark auction timer up there and Zelda counter stuff. So um, I'm just gonna spawn a bunch of pigs. They're making normal sounds right now. Heck, it's cause, okay, okay, there's a reason. I know why, okay, this is important. Pay attention, young children. What you wanna wanna do is reload your resource pack. Uh, so basically you can do this by either relaunching your game or a fun little thing you can do in the game is press your F3 button and your T button at the same time. And then it might have removed my resource pack, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's kinda, it's kinda wonky sometimes for my computer. All right, for some reason my resource pack bugs out when I do that, so I'm gonna have to restart the game and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I'm back and for some reason, I don't know what it is and I don't really care enough to try to figure it out. My computer just decides to remove resource packs whenever I reload them, so I'm just gonna put this back on, uh, go into my single player world after it loads and now the pig should be making the bruh sound. All right, so they're oinking. Bruh. Look at that. It just bruh at me. The pigs are now bruhing. Alright, so this would be useful for. I forgot I can fly. I'm in creative. What am I doing? Okay. I literally just picked blocked and then just flew. Okay. So. Bruh. Bruh. And it's because it modifies the pitch for the baby pigs. So it makes a high pitched bruh sound. <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Alright. That's pretty epic. So this is useful for pretty much anything. You can also modify your Bruh. <laughs> I love that. I love the high pitch bruh, it's so good. So you can also modify your actual game music with this. So for example, the default I don't know music, the the Minecraft music, you know what I'm talking about. You can change that. I mean why would you? It's the best music ever. Bruh. Bruh. But you can actually change that and put in your own music that you've get downloaded, but um, don't put copyrighted music because then you can't record videos and I'm, I'm not going to do that. But if you're just playing around, you can put tons of copyrighted music as long as you have it downloaded and paid for it legally. So in the description, you'll find a link to the VLC media player that you can go ahead and download. And you'll also find the default resource pack download that you can go ahead and download again. 
And um, I would recommend not changing your sound for pigs when they die to bruh, because bruh. in survival bruh. that would get a little bit annoying. Bruh. I mean, maybe not, unless you really bruh. like that sound effect. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I was able to help you, and if I did, please uh, let me know. And also, if I didn't, please let me know uh, what your problem is in the comments. I'll try to help you down there the best I can. Other than that... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share it and favorite it, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.